Hi everyone. Um, I wanted to show you a video on how to use some of the smart tools online that we've just signed up for. So if you use um, your smart board, so this is smart as in your smart board, um, the smart tools that it has, if you use those a lot in your classroom, the sort of interactive tools that are available, um, the interactives, the games that you can create, um, there are some really cool tools where you can have something up on the board and then students from their devices at their seats can interact with it. Um, the shout it out feature is one of those things. If you tend to use those in your classroom, then it's really easy to use them from a computer at home. So I wanted to show you how to do that. If you don't use them in your classroom, uh, it might still be a cool thing to use now that we're teaching virtually. Um, so in let me start sharing my screen. In the document that we shared with the support and resources, I also have links. So this is my screen. Here's the document. Um, I am updating this as we go. But in number seven, I have the link um, that I'll be going to in a minute. So the smart learning online tools. Uh, we just signed up for these in case they'd be helpful to people. So. Once you click on that link, it'll take you to a page that looks like this. And you can hit sign in. You can actually sign in with your Google account. Um, if, if it doesn't look like this, I've already signed in once, so it looks like this for me. If it doesn't look like this, it should say sign in with Google. And you can click that and then sign in using your Comday Google account. Uh, I've already signed in once, so it remembers that and it just lets me click it so I can sign in. So once you get in, it gives you a class ID that is going to be important so that students can join using that class ID and do the different interactives that you create for them. Um, so I haven't used these tools a lot. You might know more than I do. Uh, I've played a little bit so far today when I open them up. So you can create um, a blank board. So under Add Activities, so this is how the whole page looks. Um, there's a getting started with probably some more information that I could read. Um, there's an example here that is pretty cool about, that looks, that shows you um, what a student activity could look like. It has a lot of examples here um, that are neat. But you'll mostly go to add activities and you can add different content that you want. So it could be a PDF, um, could be a formative assessment. So something that students would respond to like a quiz um, a shout it out activity. This is, I think, mostly for discussion and generating ideas where um, you have a blank page and then students can log in and then share their ideas once they log in with that class code. Um, there's also a lot of cool game based activities that are made in templates for you. So if you want them to review material or label a picture that you've uploaded as a PDF, um, do a matching, you know, all sorts of more interactive practice um, that they can do. But I just started with the basic. I just hit create a new page. And here we go. Um, so I think this is similar to what you would do if you were on your smart board in your classroom. Um, you can add text, you can add pictures. Um, you can move them around with this little, this guy. Um, and then with all of these options, with those activities, and even with the blank board, um, you can invite students to view them. So um, <clears throat> here, I mean, this is you're the teacher. Um, this is you, you're editing what the board looks like. But like we said before, you can invite students to use that device code that you had back at your home page right here, your class ID, to join those things live with you and participate. Um, so once you have created the thing you want them to interact with, which I will play with a bit more, then you're going to have them log into that page. I have the same link here. Um, it's similar to the other one. It just is slash student slash login. 
compared to the one that you logged in with. Oh, I thought I had it up. Um, there we go. Let's click on this. So here we go. It's the same login page, but slash student slash login. And then when they hit sign in, they're gonna have the opportunity to put in their class code. And that's the same thing that was on your page. And if they're on their device at home and you're on their device as a teacher, you can interact live with each other. Um, you can create those quizzes or those interactives for them to do, um, or you can have a group discussion through the smart board. Um, I'll play with this later and then update this presentation a bit more with more of the options that it has. But this is really if you use these tools already in your classroom and you just need to know how to do it virtually at this moment. Um, so that's what I figured out so far today. And good luck if you do use those tools and you wanna try using it online. I think it could be a really cool thing. And um, I think the students might actually enjoy it too, having that sort of game feel and that digital nature. So good luck guys.